Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, I'm back from the beach, so it's time to get back in the hot seat again. I've got another uh, super hot pod to review for you guys today. This is another one from Butch Taylor, and this one is what he is calling the uh, CPR uh, Chocolate Primo Reaper. Now, there's a, a unique story about this one. He's not sure exactly what it is, so he's really not sure if it's a a Reaper or, or a Primo, but that's what he's calling it now. Uh, he may change uh, the name on this one, but uh, beautiful looking um, shape on this one. Look at that tail. Now here's another one right here that I'll show you. Look at the long tail on that one. Really, really nice looking dark paws. Now these were sent to me uh, before I went to the beach uh, a week ago, and uh, they took four days to get here from uh, Crosby, uh, Mississippi, a um, couple of days longer than expected, and then I just didn't have time uh, to get to this one before we left for the beach uh, last Saturday, so I uh, just kept these uh, in Ziploc bags, put them in an airtight container, put them in the cold refrigerator, and uh, just brought them out uh, after a week later, and I'm telling you, they are not soft at all, just still in perfect condition, uh, really, really good shape so we're gonna get this done but to let me share exactly what Butch uh, Taylor said about this one he says the CPR is a bit of an oddity a single plant popped up in the middle of a parsley plant I had grown so I left it and planted it at the end of a row when it made pods very late it shocked me when they looked like reapers or pre because I guess they look like reapers or primos but were brown after checking with several people, I thought it might be a chocolate primo. I had seeds but had 0% germination, but the supplier said all his grew out different and didn't resemble primos or reapers anymore. Uh, Judy uh, from Pepper Lover also had a pod which looked like it, but she assured me she hadn't given out any seeds for it. So there I was still scratching my head, chocolate primo or reaper question mark hence the name of CPR all right so it's not quite sure what it is but uh, let's go ahead and uh, cut this open now um, don't mean to disappoint you guys but uh, my stomach's just feeling a little bit funny so maybe it's because I'm nervous but I'm just <laughs> I'm gonna do this small one gonna eat a whole pod uh, but it's not gonna be the big one this time sorry about that I'm gonna save this and and use this in little bits and pieces at a time but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into this one so here we go let's cut her open and show you the insides Whew. oh wow gosh take a look at this one okay that is just full of seeds on that one side and um I usually don't do this, but that one's got a lot of seeds in there, so I'm just going to... This has really got a lot of seeds, and the only reason I'm doing this, not because I'm going to grow it or anything like that, or share seeds, I don't do that, so don't ask, um, but uh, maybe just to make sure it's not so bitter. So, just a little bit. As you will see, yeah, get a little bit of those out, but the rest are going to be eaten. So, as you can see, placenta still intact. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. This one definitely looks like it has some oil to it. Man, this one definitely smells hot. Just the regular chinensi smell, but uh, this one, when you smell it, you really get a, a sharp, pungent um, aroma up the nose. Whew. All right, here we go. Let's pop the stem on this. Show you. I got both halves here. Here we go. Hmm. Mm. 
really stinging the tip of the tongue on this one right here. <clears throat> Flavor. This one's definitely floral. It's got some got some bitterness to it. Um, it's a definitely a pretty strong floral taste. Because it's brown, it seems to have a kind of earthy flavor to it a little bit. Don't really care for the flavor on this one that much. Um, right now it is started on the tip of the tongue. Now it has completely engulfed the tongue in flames. <sighs> this one has kind of a, a sharp floral bitter aftertaste so far. Oh. Heading, heading towards the back of the throat now. All over the tongue. Really, really heated up. Whew. Very, very hot. I hope this thing doesn't burn as bad as that. Um. BTR, that was one killer pod, I'm telling you. Make sure you check out my review for Butch Taylor's BTR, the Butch Taylor Reaper Scorpion. That thing really took me for a ride. This one's got a real solid hot burn on it. Dragon's Breath. So far, not attacking the back of the throat that bad a good solid all over tongue burn mouth burn uh, but so far bearable as you can see the more I talk a little bit I try to be as honest as I can and just react I don't exaggerate but I just try to really show you what it's like go as long as I can This one gives you that numbing feeling in the mouth. So far, not that bad, but it is blistering hot on the tongue and in the mouth. It is not attacking the back of the throat right here at all. It's staying in the mouth, uh, roof of the mouth, tongue, sides, so far. Which I am pleased to say, believe me. Um, I'm telling you, sometimes when I do these things, I think, why do I do it? But I really enjoy it. I do think chilies are good for you. Uh, you really do get a good endorphin rush. Yeah, uh, for the record, Butch, this one to me is not as hot as the BTR. Uh, but believe me, it's hot. Good. Nice, nice, solid burn. Mouth burn. Just a little bit back here, but not. it doesn't um, attack the throat. When you talk, it just seems like it's staying in the mouth. <sighs> so, flavor, very, very floral. Very strong, um chocolate pod, brown pod type flavor, which seems to be a little bit more earthy. Uh, kind of a more of a richness to it. Uh, but really not that bad of a flavor. It's not nasty at all, uh, but just a little bit strong and floral. Doesn't seem sweet. Nothing compared to the uh, chocolate brain strain, which I think is my favorite. Um, super hot brown or chocolate pod for heat and for flavor judy's uh version of that chocolate brain strain is incredible but yeah um make sure i get it all down uh, Drool, uh, drool is not that bad on this one, as you can see. Um, haven't used that many napkins yet. Uh, you can feel it down here a little bit, but uh, that's to be expected with a pod this hot. But uh, whew, I'm pleased to say uh, 
that's not killer heat. I mean, you know, like the BTR. Uh, starting to come down now a little bit. It's already peaked. Pretty good endorphin rush. Um, but as you can tell how I'm acting, um, you know, this one is not at the level as that, like that BTR was at all. Now, um, Butch was saying uh, that uh, he may call this the Chocolate Reaper because um, he didn't have any Primos or grow any Primos. So he thinks it may be a Reaper cross with some other brown pod. But really great shape on this thing. With the tail. Uh, all right, we'll give it a little bit longer. <clears throat> already coming down quite a bit. Easing up a lot on the tongue and in the mouth already, but it's still warm. This one, once again, did not attack the back of the throat at all. <sighs> all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Um, hot, but not super, super crazy hot. Woo! I do not think this one's going to make me ill. But if you want to see me really suffer and you want to see me eat, I'm, I'm telling you, probably the hottest pot I've ever eaten. Check out my review, review from last week of Butch Taylor's BTR. That thing is blistering hot. Uh, I had me cramping uh, within 20 minutes after finishing the review, and that was on a full stomach. You know, sometimes, you know, eating whole pods like this um, is really going to affect you, but uh, most of the time, of all the hot pods that I've eaten over the last two years, that usually does not happen. Um, but very rarely, um, on occasion, Sometimes a pod just does not want to stay in your stomach. Um, and so that one had me throwing up. Um, it had me cramping. Like I said, within 20 minutes after finishing the review. Um, a lot of times with these super hots, even if you've prepared, you've eaten it on a full stomach, I've had pods wake me up. Usually I review around 6 o'clock in the evening, 6.30 in the evening after I've eaten a meal. I've had pods wake me up at 2 o'clock in the morning with severe cramps. Very rarely, uh, but it has happened before, so you just don't know what to expect. Um, it's not the mouth burn. I tell people this. It's not the mouth burn that bothers me. It is the fear of cramps. Um, but uh, this one's got a real enjoyable burn on it. It ramped up there pretty good for a while, as you can see, but uh, I've talked a lot on this one, so this one's got a great burn, a uh, very manageable burn. <clears throat> but once again, that was the CPR, uh, the uh, chocolate, what Butch Taylor's calling the Chocolate Primo Reaper. Not sure exactly what it is, but that's what he's calling it now. Check him out. Give him a like on Facebook. Um, sure you know who he is. But uh, Butch, thank you very much for sending that one. I do appreciate it. Everybody, thanks for watching. And until the next time, you know what to do. Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.